as a matter of fact, I love you. Bravo. Hello. Hello. Oh, don't bang your head. Mm, did a bit. OK. Hello, Rose. Ha! Thank you. Ooh. Serenade yourself. You have 20 minutes to perform and receive your serenade. Most sensational self serenade wins. Your time starts now. Oh, I've never been serenaded before. I don't know what it feels like. Have you ever serenaded someone? Never. Two firsts. Um, do you have a harp? A harp? Yeah. I've done it. You finished? Yeah. <laughs> Quick. Don't like to think too much about these things. Also, I've had four number ones with lyrics that I wrote. Yeah, you mentioned that before. Yeah, didn't really think that much about them. I'm just supposed to write a serenade now, am I? Oh, God. <laughs> Katie asked for a harp there. Yeah. Well, she's not here, sadly, for us to ask whether she can play the harp. No, she can't play the harp. So... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. First up, we're going to see definitely the most likely rapper amongst them. It's Joe Brand. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Brand, you are the knees of the bees. You don't smell, your hair's clean, and you always say please. I'm moist. <laughs> you send your mum a card every Mother's Day, and you've never been done for common affray. I'm a road man. You're old and you're fat, and you don't care. Remember that tortoise he shat on the hair? I'm nitty. Don't forget you're smart. Smarter than your phone. And you don't say scone. No, you say scone. I'm clapped. <laughs> so well done, Joe, for being so woke. Where's Mickey Gove? I need to score some coke. I'm jarring. <laughs> I'm a rogue man. <laughs> so you say. <laughs> um, is this young person speak? Yeah, my daughter said recently to me, I'm... you're moist. And I went, I think you'll find since the menopause I'm not. <laughs> 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 Person speak. <laughs> yeah. I had to learn. Road man. What's road, road man? man? A road man is a particular type of teenage boy who basically hangs around on the pavement with a group of other mm. road men mm -hmm. looking for trouble, oh. and they wear trousers that show their bum cracks. That's oh. True. Oh. Road man. Road man. Not road moist man. guys. Nitty. <laughs> <laughs> Nitty's an adjective for what a road man is. Mm. Uh. Clapped. Ugly. Jarring. Annoying. Great rap, thank you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, we're going to see what Katie Wicks did. Here we go. Yes. <clears throat> Good for you, babe. You are adorable and you're wonderful and you're so musical. Yeah, thanks. Me too. Me too. What? <laughs> OK, see ya. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Mm. Now, mm. do we mark her down for keeping a rose in her mouth while she was singing? <laughs> or is there a convoluted justification? Wow. <laughs> Katie has been serenaded before, and anyone who's had just a teenage boy with a guitar in their mother's house will know that it's always uncomfortable. 
And it's really awful, and I think that was the message that Katie was giving, especially with her reactions. Like, uh. So what you're saying is that Katie leaving the rose in her mouth is a powerful metaphor for the clumsiness of young love. Yes. <laughs> oh, no! He loves metaphors! <laughs> <laughs> you do! I do. Who's <laughs> <laughs> next? Next up, uh, he's got a lovely voice. When he's talking, it's David Padil. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Alas, David Baddiel, I do love you, even though you're me. That is very confusing. Is it masturbation? In some sense, it is. It's certainly self-love, and it's weird to kiss. <laughs> but still, David, you are the one, because you are very, very nice. Oh, wait a minute, I've changed my mind because from here it's clear you have head lice. <laughs> well, I don't think it's unkind for me to say <laughs> there's not likely to be a fifth number one. <laughs> Speed up, would you? When you wrote it, you're like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. No, I should have spent longer, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, now we've got Ed Gamble. <laughs> I've looked around this whole wide world, searching for someone to call my girl, but they weren't right. And I have to agree, there's no one I love more than me. My nut brown hair, my beautiful eyes. I'd like to caress my own milky thighs. Never again will I be left on the shelf. I've fallen in love with myself. Like the coquettish, <laughs> the coquettish imp upstairs enjoying the song, or the crazy metal dude down. <laughs> Ed, I thought it was wonderful. Thank you very much. And if I were the person upstairs having that sung to me, I would expect to have your hands all over him like a big spider. <laughs> <laughs> like a big spider. Uh, last to compose some prose with a rose is Rose. Hey. Here we go. <laughs> There's no smell as sweeter as my little chickatita. I'm hoping that it's okay if I order a bouquet. Stop it. Well, you're acting rather <laughs> thorny, and it's getting me quite horny. I'm flashing. Come on, baby, light my fire. I promise not to fertilize ya. Well, I can't believe I met ya in this suburban garden centre. To love oneself is taboo, but God. as a matter of fact, I love you. Bravo! What an amazing song. <laughs> uh, for me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> What a wonderful, modern, beautiful song. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. not only did you express your love, mm -hmm. you guarantee that you wouldn't be impregnating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it was very consensual. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is a real, real toughie, this, isn't it? OK. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You're looking for most sensational serenade. Oh, man. Mm. OK, I'm going to give David two points, and let me tell you, one and a half of those points is pity. <laughs> I'm going to give Katie three points, and okay. that's only because I don't know if she intended the metaphor. I'll speak to her about it, and maybe I'll add a point on. Mm. <laughs> Do you think you will? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Do you know what? Nope. I know it's a cop-out. 
They were all so brilliant mm. for different reasons. Mm. I'm going to give every single one of them five sweet points. Okay, so five for Rose, Joe, and Anna. Okay. Hello, Tim. How are you all? We are all well, thank you, Tim. Something wrong with that mirror. <laughs> That's because you're good. <laughs> Tell the taskmaster you love him in the most meaningful way. You've got half an hour and your time starts now. Hmm. In the most meaningful way. It's not telling, is it, love? It's showing. Actions speak louder than words, as we know. So I probably have to do something more than just pay lip service to this. To this lovely man here. This lovely man here. <laughs> Would you like to see how Asim chose to show you his affection? Yes. OK, then. <laughs> do we have a keyboard in the house? We don't, do we? Oh, we do. <laughs> Listen, Greg. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, listen, Greg. Listen, Greg. I love you like Greg's the bakery. We go together like steak and cheese. We go together like steak and cheese. Yeah, yeah, yo. It's a love letter. No one can love you better. His name is Greg and he's all in my head. He's the taskmaster, beating my heart faster. Tall motherfucker with the ivory hair. I dreamt about this house that I'm finally here. Just me and you, Greg. In our gorgeous palace Listen mate, you've given me the horn like Alex I might sound crazy like raisins But Greg Davies, I wanna have your babies I wanna have your babies Listen Greg, I love you like grapes The bakery, we go together like steak and cheese Tim, I tell you this, I am nearly 40 years of age. <laughs> and I can hand on heart say, and I mean this, outside of my role on this show, the tall motherfucker with the ivory hair, <laughs> I think is the nicest thing anyone's ever said. <laughs> it's nice as well, cos rap music, you know, it's got a bit of a history of homophobia and bad vibes, but if this can come out of it, <laughs> Maybe Rap's moved on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I really it's creepy did. and adorable. Yeah. It was brilliant. Thanks. I liked Thanks, it too man. much. Absolutely brilliant. It's going to take some beating. Let's see. Well, two more guys up next. Russell and Tim. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a way of finding out what his hobbies are? In this article, he discusses his hobbies, friends, family and love of food. Right, OK, yeah, go on. If he had half an hour left on Earth, he would sit in his mum's garden in Shropshire and smoke a cigarette in his caftan. If you've got a picture of his mother, I might, uh, I might dress up as her. What do you think? Um... I could try and seduce his mum and then not <laughs> at the last moment as a way of showing Greg how much our friendship means to me by not having sex with his mum. So, you, in this half an hour, you're not going to have sex with Greg's mum? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Davies. Oh. She's on the right, yeah? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Russell. That's your time up. Did you uh, make love to Greg's mum at all? Nope. Um, I like to imagine she was uh, at home in Shropshire, watching Loose Women, utterly unbothered. That's very kind of you. Yeah. <laughs> I like it! It's 
Thank you, Mum, from Shropshire. Just want to say that Tim Vine loves you very much, as do I. He's my favourite child. <laughs> I don't know what to say about any of this. Are you feeling all loved up? <laughs> I don't know that I am feeling loved up. <laughs> Although, I will thank Tim, Mum, for clearing up one thing. I always knew I was the most popular child. <laughs> so, if my sister's watching, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Alice's turn to share her true feelings. What gesture of love would he appreciate? Oh, God. What about... skywriting? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Do you think he'll like this, Alice? I mean, does he like really impressive penmanship and really creative ideas and excellently executed things? Then potentially, yeah. <laughs> Is it all coming together, Alice? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, it's his maiden voyage and probably only voyage. But I'm confident. Goodbye, my precious. Well, do I like excellent penmanship? Yes, I do. Good. Tick. Do I like animation? Yes. Do I like loo rolls and planes? Yes, I do. Do I love heavily caveated declarations <laughs> of love? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, here's my, here's my logic. I felt like you don't like insincerity. I caveated it for your benefit. Thank you. I feel like it will grow into a full love, but at the moment, it's purely professional. Well, I'm afraid you've missed the boat because I've signed up to uh, ask <laughs> Love trade. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's next? Well, finally, really and truly finally, it's Lisa Tarbuck. Could I do something um, and sort of transpose one thought into an action and ask you to take his place for it and then tell him how it felt? Mm -hmm. And then you can decide whether it's meaningful, love, or it isn't. Absolutely. Great. Stop the clock. I've got a good idea. What I need is a cake around this size. I need confectioner's custard. And then I'm going to ask you to take yourself somewhere private and put your bare ass into it. <laughs> now, are we clear what you're up to here? OK. I'm ready. I hope you enjoy this. It might be the only time in your life you put your bare ass in a cake, but I'll let you get on with it. All right. You all right? I'm all right. Trousers are down. Good. Right, here we go. You ready? Yes. <laughs> I'm in. Oh. Enjoy it for a bit longer. I think I've had enough. Oh. What did that feel like? It felt like nothing I'd ever felt before. It was so... in me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, for the rest of the week. Yeah, it really, it really was. Well... <laughs> your plan was to show your love for me vicariously through my mm. assistant. And? Well, if that was love, it turns out I've not been in love before. Yeah. <laughs> I recommend it. I recommend it too. Yeah, I there recommend you go. It doing it once. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be the right sort of chair, though, because the, of the angle of the squatting, I was open. <laughs> <laughs> there were fewer profiteroles there than there were at the start. <laughs> so, In greedy bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is love. I really love all of you as well, thank you. Whilst I'm grateful that Russell didn't have sex with my mum, 
I don't think there was, it was ever really a danger. <laughs> OK, so one point to Russell. God, so difficult. Yeah. Alice, I'm sorry, I'm going to give you two points because... But the uh, penmanship. Because it was <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of a reason other than it wasn't a real plane. Um, <laughs> OK, two to Alice. It's only because I've got a real mum that I'm not going to accept you as my new mum, so I'm going to give you three points. OK, three points. And it says something that I am genuinely struggling to debate <laughs> <laughs> between sitting on a cake... <laughs> And having another man <laughs> run his fingers through my ivory hair. <laughs> I'm going to give them both five points. Yes. Hello. Can I pull this off? I don't know. No, never mind. Let's leave it on. I'll be breaking shit in your house all the time. <laughs> Came off anyway. It's like a hooper. Pardon? You don't know what that is, do you? I think it's something to do with the Jewish faith. Yes, it's a, it's a place you might have a wedding. Interesting. Yeah. I'm assuming that's not the task. <laughs> yeah. Oh! It is a hooper. <laughs> Proposed to Alex in the most irresistible way. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Have you proposed to anyone before, Alan? Only my wife. <laughs> so, you know, I'm one for one, as they say. <laughs> have you proposed to anyone before, Victoria? Of course I haven't. What are you suggesting? I think when I proposed to her, it was the only time I, I, ever in my life that I've had snuff. And if I hadn't had the snuff, I might not have done it. I don't know. What do you like? This would have required years of getting to know you. Um... I've got a Wikipedia entry. It's likely that you're going to be inhaling something. <laughs> 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 Lovely. What I take from that is that Victoria is very serious about the sanctity of a marriage proposal and that when Alan proposed to his wife, he was off his face on snuff. Let's see how they get on. OK, well, here is Desiree asking me, Alex Horn, for my hand in marriage. Alex, my darling, come to me. This is wonderful. Isn't it just? I know we've only known each other for a brief time, but I've developed some strong feelings I felt like I needed to share with you. This is a song that I've created, original composition. Furry little Alex Horn, I've fancied you since you were born. If you got mad and killed a guy, I would be your alibi. Won't you marry me, Alex? Cause I don't wait, because I don't have a gag reflex. <laughs> so Alex Horn, will you make me the happiest weirdo? Will you do me the great honor of spending the rest of our lives together? Will you marry me? Desiree? Alex. I'm gonna go and think about it. Thank you. Of course. Can I keep this for love made my decision? Absolutely. You suck on that and think about things. <laughs> Uh, I could watch that again. I mean, there's a couple of things I should probably just speed by. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you fancied Alex since he was born. That's <laughs> early. Yeah, we should probably leave that. <laughs> I enjoyed the remote control car. Yes, me too. And I enjoyed the aggression of your final statement. Think about it and suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strong and unsettling start. OK. Well, next I'm going to be proposed to by Gaz Khan. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> so, what I'd like to say to you, my brother, is I, I've been on this show with you. I don't think people look out for your welfare. They don't look out for how you're feeling. It's a long-ass day. It is a long-ass day. Yeah. So I've prepared something for you. Get in bed. Go on. In bed? Yeah, get in bed. Go on. You did that for me? Yeah, lean back. Take your feet off. Look. How's that feel, man? Comfy, ain't it? It's lovely. Yeah, look, there's a skull there with a rose in it. Look, Alex, his task was to propose to you in the most irresistible way. And there's two versions of irresistible. One of those is red roses and fairy lights. But there's another version, the dictionary version, which is irresistible, meaning something so convincing that somebody can't say no. <laughs> Didn't know you.
strong smell of... What is that? The mask was being supposed to represent blood, you know, for the Godfather. Oh, I see, yeah. Someone told me you like the movie. Well, I like Jaws. He, he likes Jaws, man! I'm going to think about it. Can I say, Greg, I genuinely didn't know there was anything under the blanket. About the horses, I head. genuinely didn't know. Wow. That was all... All of these, I don't know what's going to happen. I just love what anyone who hasn't watched the Godfather trilogy, what they'll be thinking... <laughs> <laughs> ..of that <laughs> intimate and horrific proposal. Do you want to see another? Yeah. It's Alan now with a very Alan marriage proposal. Hi, Alex. Hello. Um, would you mind just, uh, inhaling some of the um, persuasive elixir? No. <laughs> That's it. And just breathe in. Yeah, breathe in. Keep breathing in. It's definitely going to help. Now you can uncover. <laughs> <laughs> This is a uh, dowry, of course. Was that there before the camera? It's, tra it's trained. If you're amenable... Uh, well, there's more, is there? I have a prenuptial agreement. Do you now? Thank you. Did you accept the proposal, or...? I'll sign the nup. OK. And I will think about it. OK, that's all I can ask, I suppose, at this stage. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What was Alex inhaling to soften him up for marriage? Vicks Vapor Rub. That helped clear your head while Alan got into character. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all know if there's one thing that will guarantee a yes to a marriage proposal, it's a surprise cow. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, I'm going to be proposed to by Victoria Corrin Mitchell. I'm too committedly married already, and I never proposed to my own husband, so to propose to someone else's husband, it would be all wrong. However, here's my proposal. The opportunity is there to have a wedding that, to you, doesn't count as a wedding. Sorry, are you proposing to me right now? We've got a whole house at our disposal, a caravan, wedding and honeymoon right here. It feels like you're proposing right now. If I were, what would you say? Would you mind taking one more surname? I think you'd have to take my surname, but only the Corrin. I think to take my husband's surname would be disrespectful, to be honest. I'm becoming Alex Corrin. I think so. I can't believe you need to think about it. I've proposed to someone for the first time in my life you're not even accepting immediately. Can I have half an hour? All right, OK. Thanks, Victoria. Thank you. Corrin. Mitchell. <laughs> Horn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well. I have to say, gut instinct tells me Victoria doesn't want you to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only instant proposal. I'm genuinely worried about it, though. Y yes. I know it's ridiculous. I'm so happily married. I'm so besotted with my husband. I genuinely worried <laughs> about proposing to another man, even as a joke. I thought maybe that's not nice. It's ridiculous. It's pretty damn sweet, if you ask yeah. me. And it just shows the lack of regard that the other people here have for their partners. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't say that. No, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, bro. It's a game show. <laughs> Very sweet, Victoria. You get sweet points. And what do they translate to on this show? Ah, not many points. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, play on. Last of all, really last of all, it's Morgana Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Come on. Yeah. Put the sailor outfit on and follow the music. Lobsters are red, oceans are blue. I won't give you crabs if you let me marry you. La 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 la. What sort of crabs? La, la. 
itchy ones. La 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 la. Um, Morgana. Yeah. I really appreciate everything you've done, and I will think about it. Thank you. La 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 la. What a what a spectacular proposal. Mm. <laughs> of course, the correct answer to a proposal like that from an obviously psychotic mermaid <laughs> is no. <laughs> also, never trust someone who tells you straight away that they haven't got crowds. <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> That's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of my life as well. All right, I could barely separate some of these. Right. Mm. Victoria's was a pretty damn weak proposal, but... It was a fairly sweet response. I'm going to give Victoria an unbelievable three points. <laughs> Fair enough. Three points to Victoria. That's very nice of you. Um, I could not separate a menthol snorting proposal <laughs> and an announcement <laughs> of a weak gag reflex. <laughs> I'm giving both of those four points. OK, four to Alan. Four to David. Lovely. And when you've got productions on this scale, then both people, for very different reasons, have got to take a sweet five with them. Five points to girls and more better! For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>